So in today's uh, gospel, my dear brothers and sisters, <coughs> we uh, hear about uh, our Lord uh, Jesus Christ who sent uh, the 12 apostles and disciples in order to uh, spread the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ uh, during uh, his time. Sila po ang um, uh, tumutulong sa ating Panginoon para sa pagbibigay ng mga aral ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. And, uh, you know, these apostles uh, grown, uh, grow, grow up and there were uh, many disciples and apostles that followed our Lord. Um, <clears throat> itong nagiging mga apostol ay eventually sila po ang nagiging uh, pare at uh, sila po ay maging mga misyonero at sila po ang mga uh, obispo at uh, ang Santo Papa that was uh, uh, led by Saint Peter. So, dear brothers and sisters, our Lord uh, uh, took them and uh, sent them even when he had left already uh, the world and returned to uh, his kingdom in heaven. Pero alam natin, Panginoon, uh, mga brothers and sisters, na hindi lamang ang mga pare at uh, <coughs> uh, na itong mga future uh, priests and missionaries also and we pray that uh, uh, all of them or many of them will also follow in the footsteps of the missionaries and those who are priests ewan ko kung makakaya nila pero yan po ang uh, uh, sinasabi ng ating Panginoon to uh, make them missionaries especially now, itong mga missionaries at mga disciples of our Lord, uh, these are in full-time uh, work. That is why there is this so-called uh, <coughs> uh, vow of celibacy. Na yung ibig sabihin po ay hindi sila magkakaroon uh, uh, ng uh, pamilya o asawa so that they will be full-time in their work as uh, priests, missionaries, and bishops. Pero, it doesn't mean that you lay people are not uh, uh, priests also. Pero hindi lang kayo full-time. But you also uh, have to do uh, what our Lord said, that you go to all nations, preaching people, preaching to people, and baptizing people. So, um, uh, ang ibig sabihin po ay um, kayo, mga lay people, are also part of the apostolate of the church. Now, how can you be apostolate? Mayroon pong mga uh, things that you may do. So, for example, you can do also uh, some work or services in the church. Mayroon pong mga um, members of, uh, for example, in a parish, yung mga lay ministers, and even here, and also those who participate in a uh, uh, different uh, services in the church, like yung mga uh, Knights of Columbus, those who are members of the uh, members of the church council, uh, yung meron ding mga, uh, mga uh, this uh, what they call this uh, uh, these people who go out to uh, the uh, parishes and there they go and help those who are in need of help, especially those who are poor. 
So, uh, ito pong mga ginagawa ng mga lay people is part of what our Lord said, that you, should, you are also uh, in the apostolate of the church. And whether you are a layman or woman, you are also a priest or a priestess in the apostolate of the church. Alam ninyo, mayroon akong kakilala na uh, isang doktora. And this uh, lady doctor was uh, really very much involved in the church. It's not only giving her time to be in the, uh, uh, in the, in the parish, but also give some money also for the church. At... Uh, uh, nung nakilala po ako ay nagbibigay din para sa mga uh, seminarians under our Adopt a Seminarian Scholarship Program. At uh, gusto niya na magkakaroon tayo ng marami pang mga seminarians na hopefully will continue and become a priest or missionary. At alam niyo yung kanyang um, really help for the church was really uh, very uh, zealous and very, very generous. At alam pa ninyo, brothers and sisters, nung siya ay mamamatay na. He asked me to go to her bedside. At sabi niya, Father, I will tell my children to continue helping your seminarians. And then, sinabi niya, pag ako po ay namatay, Father, idudonate ko ang aking kabahong para sa inyong, uh, <coughs> sa inyong uh, uh, retirement house. So, I said, uh, Doctor, I said, hindi ko pa naman kailangan ang kabahong. Sabi ko, <laughs> I think, I'm not yet ready to, to uh, I'm not ready to use your uh, coffin, you know, when you die. Sabi ko, I'll just donate to those who are in our retirement house, you know. Yan pong retirement house namin ay uh, para sa mga uh, old people and also the sick people. And, uh, you know, they're also waiting for their passing away from this life. At yung pan nga namin dyan, uh, retirement house, ay tawag po namin ay uh, pre-departure area. Alam nyo kung bakit? Kasi doon sa likod ng retirement house, ay nandun na po yung cementerio. No, no, doon na. Kaya uh, yun ang tinatawag namin na uh, uh, pre-departure area. Pero yung mga ibang pare dyan at mga brothers, aba masigla pa at... Uh, Malakas pa. Kaya sinasabi namin ng pabiro, bagay itong mga ito, bagay malayo pa sa pre-departure, nasa duty-free shop pa sila, sabi namin. Well, uh, well we just joke with them. But uh, you see what this doctora had also in mind, that when she passes away from this world, that she has done something as her apostolate, and what she had been doing uh, in helping the church, especially those who are less fortunate. So my dear brothers and sisters, tanungin natin ang ating mga sarili, do we also uh, show that we are also apostles of our Lord, that we have also an obligation, not only to your work, to your family, but also to the church because that is part of our uh, apostolate as members of the Catholic Church. So, ano ang nagagawa din natin para sa simbahan and how we also uh, go out and be apostles like what the uh, Twelve apostles did during the time of Christ. 
So, dear brothers and sisters, let us always think about this sa ating buhay habang tayo ay nandito pa. And to make an end, uh, I would like to end with the words of uh, a certain writer. He said, I shall pass this way but once. Any good, therefore, that I can do, or any kindness that I can show, let me do it now. Let me not neglect nor defer it, for I shall not pass this way again. Amen. <laughs>